Hey guys, Game Milky here, and I've got a quick guide for you today, actually. So, uh, Darksiders 2 was released in the UK two days ago, I think. And this is a quick little video to show you some of the PC stuff, I suppose, to it. Um, so, it came out for the PC, but there's been a lot of problems with it, and it's because it was a bad PC port, and I'm pretty sure the company who made it, really, did not care about uh, the PC enthusiast. So if I um, show you the options here, I'll show you a couple of problems that's with it. So um, the first one, and it's probably the biggest one, is that there is no graphics options. Apart from the video resolution and full screen, there's, that's it. So they give us a vertical sync, which uh, it doesn't work by the way. This is another reason why I've got this video for you today. And um, yeah, so that's really bad. You can't have any anti-aliasing. You know, you can't have any of your high graphic textures. You can't even turn it down. It plays at this one recommended graphics setting that they have set for you. So, uh, if you're like looking for a better graphics upgrade, you're gonna get a little thing from my video because this is how to uh, make it a little bit better. But generally, if you're not up to do this, then you know, get it for uh, the console, like the Xbox 360 or PS3. Uh, the graphics will be slightly worse, but it will be slightly better for you performance-wise. Um, so, yeah, these are the options here. The sound volumes and stuff, they're pretty pretty lame, pretty simple. Um, also, they don't really show um, the joystick capabilities of, like, you know, using um, an Xbox 360 controller. They don't have the options for that. You just have to plug it in and pray it works. I don't actually have one yet, but I've been told this is what's going on. Um... And at least you can t turn up the aim sensitivity. So if I go back, uh, by pressing escape, um, basically I'm just going to show you what I mean. The graphics are, these are okay. This is once I've like fixed it, I suppose, in, in my terms. Uh, so you're going to get a quick clip here of uh, this sort of ice giant, I think it was. I haven't played this game yet. I haven't got really far in it. Uh, yeah, nice giant. So you're going to get a bit of the uh, gameplay here. And of course you press Alt to... Uh, Alt jump. That's another uh, con to this game. You can't swap the controls for it. Like, you can't change keys um, that have been set from what I've tried. So, and I, I. When I first found this out, I was gonna update this. They can't leave it like this. But apparently, it was the same thing for Darksiders 1. Um, and, you know, they were just like, fuck the PC enthusiasts. We're not gonna do anything about it. So, I'm just gonna quickly. I'm just <laughs> I'm evading, evading everything he could throw at me, and um, you may be able to see my frame rate counter at the top right. If not, then it's because it's being hidden. Um, yeah, I lock mine at 45 frames per second uh, at the moment. It should be fixed on 60 frames per second. I'm going to tell you why uh, in a little bit once I sort of uh, finish off this boss. So that was cool. That was a, a quick little uh, insight on. Um, Taking out a small boss, I suppose. It's pretty cool. Uh, did it leave any goodies for me? No, no, no goodies. Oh, okay. So anyway, uh, the game looks generally okay. It's it's cartoony. It's not, you know, the graphics aren't the best. They really aren't. Um, if you look carefully, the uh, character slightly, you know, grainy. And if I press O, now you'll have to see this in high definition. But if you look carefully at death here. My god, does he look pixelated. It, it's just, no. It's just, no. It shouldn't be like this. And of course, there are no um, sort of ways you can tell what your uh, controls are unless you look in the move list, which will tell you some of the stuff here. Look, it, takes, it shows you some of the key bindings. And you can't rename stuff that already has a key. That's what I've been trying to say. I, I probably just didn't word it properly. So yeah, that was a quick little insight to... Um, really what's going on with the graphics settings. My recommended opinion on this is if you're not willing to do or to, you know to look up a sort of fix for uh, the many issues this game has um, then you know don't get it for the PC get it for the uh, console because it will make much not much of a difference. I wanted it for the PC because I thought you know graphics will be better controls will be slightly easier for me I suppose and it's easier for me to record in because I was gonna make a let's play of it but I doubt I will now um, but still so the problems with it are the uh, graphics issues as I said before and of course you have some more options like I 
if you look in the options, as I said before, there is the um, vertical sync. It doesn't actually work. Now it's working on mine, and that's why I'm going to show you how I did this by um, recording a desktop uh, sort of video and adding it onto this. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. So you mean like a second or so? Uh, so I'll be back in a second to show you how I did it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll be back to talk to you to back to talk to you in my future self. So see ya. Okay, I'm back on the desktop, and that's when I've come up there. So basically, this should be showing you uh, my desktop and uh, how I configured the settings for Darksiders 2. And uh, appropriately, I did change the back of this because I thought it was pretty cool. I'll probably change it later on. And you can see some of the nice uh, games and programs I have. So anyway, what did I do to change it? Well, first of all, I, um, I bought the game and I, I had to look up some solutions and... Um, what did I find? What did I find? What did I find? I uh, ended up going to this forum page here. And uh, this explains a couple of issues for um, sort of guide for fixing, structuring, enabling, vsync, screen tearing, and GPU overheating. So um, I came here and I looked at some of the stuff and I got my idea from the first uh, actual post. Now it says it will work with both NVIDIA and AMD cards. It worked with mine. I do have an AMD card. So it should work for you. I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it will work. Now what you have to do is you have to download this thing from uh, this little download link here. And that's called something, it's called River Tuner. Tuner, sorry. And basically you just need to download it. So once you've um, downloaded it, uh, don't do anything. That's probably the easiest thing ever. And I have my task manager here. So basically what happens is it has a program with it called, um, where is it, where is it? It's up here, that's why. It is this d3dOverrider.exe. Now this is the program that enables your uh, games to um, slightly, it will, like, it will fix your problems pretty much. I, I don't know how to explain it really. It's, that, was, that was my a quick fix. Um, and what you have to do really is you have to disable and enable some functions. So with AMD cards, they have uh, this thing called the Catalyst Control Center. If you have one of these cards, right click and then click the Catalyst Control Driver. And then it will bring up this sort of uh, page. Now you go to, uh, what do you go to? You go to Gaming and 3D Application Settings. And this will show you your um, application settings. Now uh, earlier on I had to try and, you know, find a way to fix it. So I made a new application setting with Darksiders 2. You just basically save your settings here on to um, a Darksiders, uh, no, save it onto where the Darksiders 2 is located, which is in your Steam, Common Maps, um, and then uh, Darksiders 2, I think. I'll just check that for you here. So basically you go to your computer files, uh, local disk C, uh, program 60 files um, and then you go to Steam uh, Steam maps uh, Common and then you got your Darksiders 2 um, So yeah, that that's where you um, Save the exe to and then you can basically change it whenever um, And basically what you need to do is in the settings you need to put uh, wait for vertical refresh off and make sure triple buffering is not enabled. I think for my Darksiders 2 it is enabled though, so I don't think that really makes much of a difference. So once you have that done, um, basically what happens is you can start up your Darksiders 2 again, and what will happen this time is you'll hear some sort of a noise as soon as it starts, like an application noise, and basically that's it really, and your Darksiders shoot should be fine. Uh, it should have improved the uh, tearing for it, and in my case, also improved slightly some of the graphics options. It sort of made it a little bit more clear. And what it does is it will lock your frame rate. Like um, before I was uh, enabling this, uh, it was like at 90 frames per second. Uh, and then once I did, I did this, it locked it at 60. So that's not that bad. You wouldn't want it going at 90 or something. Well, you, you would want it, but it doesn't make much of a difference from 90 to 60. You're not going to see the difference. The eye cannot recognize the difference in that. So really, 
that's that's my quick fix. It makes it a lot uh, more enjoyable to play because it's nicer for the eye. It's still a really disappointing game though because of you know the graphics options. It, it really should have had these features enabled. I don't know why they didn't. It, it's stupid. Um, but anyway, a lot of people are having problems with their VSync and graphics. I hope this has helped you a little bit. If it doesn't work, uh, I will also link to you that forum page, this one here, because it has another uh, sort of um, way to fix it for AMD cards. If you have an NVIDIA card um, and you don't have this Catalyst Control Center like this, you should have something like this for your NVIDIA cards. I've heard they're similar. Uh, and I'm sure on that Steam forum page there, it will you know, give you some information on how to do it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I'm disappointed with the game. I don't know if I'll do a Let's Play of it or not. You'll see it if I do, or you can tell me to do it if you want. But um, I will be playing it anyway. I want to complete it. I, I really do enjoy Darksiders 2. So I hope this helped you. It's I know it's annoying, but you know, give it a try if you bought it for the PC. If you haven't got it for the PC, well, don't get it, to be honest. Um, anyway, this is me signing off. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, thank you.